coming to you live from the contaminated dungeon. It's Max the Animal and Mickey Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I am your host, Max the Animal. This is my partner, Nikki Snacks. And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this Sunday's NFL action. Or Monday. And Monday. Yeah. Did I throw you off there? No, I'm just... Once again, I went 0-3. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yes, I can believe it. It's... It's, Go ahead, just speak it. Speak it. Speak. I I don't have anything to say. I just... Do you want me to say something? Yeah, please. I think... You're overanalyzing the board, okay? I love the board every week, but I only give you three. I could probably be like like 116 and and, and 17 if I really wanted to, but I didn't do that because we only do three a week and I don't want to embarrass you. I would never want to embarrass you because this this is your vehicle, Animal, and all you people that, that comment below that say we replace Animal, replace, he is not replaceable. He's not. So don't even think about it. I respect that. You need to just get a wake me up. And I think you have a wake me up today. I think you have a wake me up today. So that being said, wake us up, animal. Well, it's just to start, just to recap real quick, I'm I believe I'm seven and twenty on the season. So yes, far. that's correct. So that is why I need to wake really up. Really wake wake up. It like would be nice. Up. It would be nice. We're, what, what we're losing our viewers' your, money. There's one guy record? that there's one guy that DM'd us. He goes, "Animal, I paid my college, my kids' college tuition, all on your picks, and they all lost. And now the college tuition's gone. So that's not what we want. That's not what we're looking for. So please get that tuition money back, or forever rotten hell. Get it back with your first pick. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back for you. It's simple here. Listen. I'm taking the under at 45 and a half. Why? It's simple. It's simple. It's simple. This week, it's all about the Saints, plus two and a half at the Rams. It's simple. Simple. You know what? Um, I know you You literally say it's simple before you make every lock pick. <laughs> That's your fifth pick you made in two weeks, and every time it's been before, you said it's simple. But you know what? I This is probably my favorite pick of yours. <laughs> I know. The whole, it's simple. I know. It's Listen, it's simple. So Miami at Indianapolis, they're going into Indy, plus 10 and a half. That's so many points. Listen, I, I get it. The double-digit favorites, don't they don't really hit. So plus 10 and a half, Fitzmagic is is still alive, still playing football. Just, just trolloped. Uh, is that a word, trolloped? It Trollop is, it is the now. Jets last week, right? And now the Colts are banged up. No T.Y. Hilton. Jacoby Brissett's like, you know, he's got a problem with his knee or something. So that's going to come into factor of this game. Miami plus 10 and a half will be the easiest cover of the week. That's not, you know, it should be my big lock then, but it's not. So Miami plus 10 and a half. Colts banged up. Fitz magic. There it is. I, I don't really want to say anymore just because... That's how that's how much of a lock it is. Yeah, it's well, and every time I, I give analysis, that's like real analysis. It doesn't it just doesn't matter. So yeah, you usually give trends and all these things, and yeah, not today. Well, that's the pick. I understand. I I, I get it. No, it's um, just just you pick now, please. Please don't be defeated. This is not the time to be defeated. defeated. We still have like twenty more weeks of this. No, I'm stop being around. defeated because we're gonna do this in uh, March Madness too. By the way, no, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm going to, either way, my first bet of the week, uh, relatively, uh, as you say, simple, I'm going to take the Bengals plus 10 and a half against the Ravens at home. Why the Bengals are a 10 and a half underdog at home, please take your drugs, is beyond me. They covered the spread in Baltimore the last time around in week four. Yes, Andy Dalton was playing. Yes, he has great hair. However, Ryan Finley looked really good in the preseason. The the Ravens are coming off a monumental win. They all acted like it was the Super Bowl. They all celebrated on the field like it was the Super Bowl. They beat the New England Patriots and they beat them up pretty good and that Ravens team looks very good. But you know what? This is 
This is a regression week for me. I think the Bengals hang tight without A.J. Green. Ryan Finley comes in, brings some new energy to the team. They're at home. They always play their division rivalries tough. Ten and a half, I take that. Home dog, easy. Ten and a half, Bengals against the Ravens. Boom. Boom. 18 and nine overall in the year. Eight and one on big locks. Boom. All right. All right, I'll take that. That, that wasn't my big lock, by the way. I was just saying I'm 8-1 and one in big locks. I'm going to say it again when my big lock comes around. Wait, am I 8-1? I think it's... 7-1. 7-1 seven on seven no, my big locks. No, you're going backwards on your math here. It's week, this is week 10. You would be... I'm 8-1 and one of my big locks. Oh, that's... Yep, that's right. That's yeah, right. I know I'm right. That's right. I was right the first time. Stop right. f- trying to question one, me. 8-1, I'm 1-8 one and eight in my big locks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna re, to resurface my record on big locks when we get to the big lock. We've not gone to the big lock yet. No, we haven't. We're Boom. only on our second picks. My second pick is the Vikings. The Vikings at Dallas plus three. That's it. Now, I'm going to give you some analysis. Here it is. Ready? It's more of a, a, an analysis pun. So Dallas, they lost to the Jets a few weeks ago. They were struggling against the Giants. Whether you, you know the scoreboard says whatever. A hundred percent. Listen, stop. It's my time. The Giants... A couple of flags didn't go their way. There's a couple of calls. Whatever happened, happened. And the the Cowboys, they seem a lot better on paper. They're not that good. Vikings plus Agreed. three. Vikings plus three. This is this is thievery. So here's the pun. Stick a Kirk in them. In the Cowboys. You could stick a Kirk in them because the Vikings are coming and they're gonna they're gonna stick a Kirk in them. They're done. Because Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I get it. Right? So Vikings plus three. Stick a Kirk in them. They're done. I'm going to say two things about that bet. One, love it. Vikings money line. Take them. Yeah. F- Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah. Two, do you understand how bad Kirk Cousins is on primetime and it's a Sunday night football game on the road? Three, the Giants got rocked on three pass interference calls. One of which wasn't called against Evan Ingram. Two of which were called against them. They weren't. I digress because it's fucking bullshit. That's last so week. just, just, just wh- while you bet the Vikings, you're gonna see it that they just call these fucking hankies against that dirtbag shit of a team, the to- Dallas Cowboys. F- that team, f- everything they're about. I hate their fans. I hate their owner. I, I hate their quarterback. I hate every fucking thing about that team. That being said. My second pick of the week. Uh, as you guys know, I've been taking the Steelers a lot this year. But I'm going to take the Rams on the road in Pittsburgh. The Rams are off a bye. They're getting healthy. Uh, it's about time they turn it up. They see their division rivals, the Seahawks and the 49ers, winning games left and right with ease. And I think they win this game by more than three and a half points. I think they, get, I think they win... The Rams. Oh, yeah. I think they win the game. I'm taking the Rams minus three and a half on the road. I don't like taking road road favorites. You guys know that. I'm I'm a that's that's not my thing. But I think this is the right spot for the right team. They got to get it right at some point. I think this is the week. The Steelers are coming off a very emotional last second field goal miss by the greatest kicker of all time. It's just they got to make it happen now. If they don't make it happen. It's not the prospects are not looking good for them to even make the playoffs. The NFC is tough. They really need to win this game. I think they come out guns blazing. Sean McVay, great hair, great hair. Who? Great hair. He literally looks great, feels great, coaches great. This Sunday, three and a half. Rams win, thirty to twenty-four. I'm taking the three and a half. Rams minus three and a half. Love it. Lock it. Boom. Boom. So it's a nice second pick. It was the Rams, I believe. Let's go to It was our, literally the Rams. I literally said the Rams minus three and a half. Let's go to our big dog pick of the week. I don't know what the record is. Last week lost, so you know if we have yeah, the record. Yeah, because against snacks. Editor, please throw it up there. If we don't, someone go back and figure it out. But let's figure hear, it the f- out. Let's hear from Stanley. Stanley, let's hear what you got. 
Hey y'all, Stanley uh, Yelnats here from Winchester, Tinfieldville, Iowa. Love bagels and locks, love the show, love what you're doing. And my lock of the century of the f millennium is Baltimore minus nine and a half in Cincinnati against the rookie Ryan Fraudley. There are more f***ing holes in that Cincinnati offensive line than I've had to f***ing dig in the desert. I would have never stolen those cleats if I knew the NFL was giving away this free f***ing money. Baltimore minus nine and a half. I've never seen something so f***ing pretty. Maybe your co-host on uh, Fade the Public, Nick, tell that guy he's really cool and really handsome and really good looking and really smart and really good looking. Love you guys. Keep doing good work on the show, except for you, Adam. You <laughs> suck. Oh, wow. Wow. Going against snacks Man, again. I feel like some, for some reason, the big dog picks are kind of always going against you. So I'm assuming that they probably have a losing record. This they point. do. Yeah. They Outside do. of that, that Yannick, that's when I stopped caring about the big dog pick. Once Yannick went against me and went 3-0 before I did on my own fucking show. You got it. You can't not stop caring. I know. I know. Like this oh, is. Oh, do you hear that? <laughs> I hear something crazy. There it is again. Oh my God in heaven. I think it's time for the big locks. Yeah. Oh, oh. Easy, bud. Easy. Easy. All right, it's time for the big locks, everybody. And my first one. Oh, you hear that? I hear something again. Do you hear? I think it's a jet. It sounds like a jet. It must be a jet because it's the New York Jets. Clutch three at home against their city rival, state rival. I don't even know what the fuck to call them. The Giants. That's what we'll call them. Jet noises. I always do this. This is my note for to make jet noises. That's not a stat. So... <laughs> The Jets, like I said, you know, they, they, they're, they, they're in spurts now. So they beat the Cowboys, and the Cowboys beat the Giants. So this is plus three. So the Jets don't even have to win this game. They just have to keep it close. And it's at home. So the Giants have to. It's an away oh, game. Away game for the Giants. So we all know how that goes sometimes. Last week, all the home team uh, won that one o'clock hour. Every single home team won. There's a stat for you. Last week, every home team won. And who's the home team this week? It's the Jets. So, plus three. They don't have to win. Big locks. One and eight on the season. That, and that says it all. That's it, folks. So, so you're telling the public that you want Listen, them... don't analyze my picks. That you want them to bet on a one and seven team with a quarterback that sees ghosts. Don't analyze my picks. Well... You Work about worry about your own picks. Tell me your big lock. Let's go. I, I got I got shit to do. I'm rolling. <laughs> Luckily, animal stop taking drugs. <laughs> stop taking drugs. Seriously, you are starting to concern me with all the drugs you've been taking this episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's 15 minutes. You're, you're drinking and taking drugs. This isn't good. I'm concerned. But what I'm not concerned about. Is San Fran covering the spread? Six and a half. That's right. I'm taking Seattle plus six and a half in San Francisco Monday Night Football. San Fran has not played a team like Seattle yet. They have not. They haven't played a good... Am I wrong? They haven't played a good offense. They haven't played a good quarterback yet. Seattle's not traveling far. This is Monday Night Football. This is Russell Wilson territory. This is MVP Russell Wilson territory. Six and a half is way too many points. It's way too favorable for the 49ers. I don't see the 49ers winning this football game. Seattle wins this outright. If you have the money line, take Seattle on the money line, but just be safe and risk more on plus six and a half because I this is this is so outrageous of a line. I, I can't even fathom what I was looking at when I saw six and a half Seattle versus San Francisco at home. It doesn't even matter who's home, who's not. It doesn't matter. There's Russell Wilson. There's Tyler Lockett. There's DK Metcalf. Everybody. Josh, Josh six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. They will not lose by more than six points. Lock that mother. Fuck.
fucking dog in right fucking now or I will kill you. <laughs> Seattle, plus six and a half. Big locks, eight and one on the year. Do it. I promise you win. Mm. It's, a good, it's a good slate of picks, everybody. They're I all know it is. Us, I think. I think there's a serious chance I do go 3-0 this week. I heard that weeks one through nine, so. <laughs> Gotta keep it rolling, the positivity, right? Positive all the way through. Either way, either way. That's it. That's it. Either way, like, subscribe. Subscribe, uh, comment. Uh, comment, uh, comment us your best picks below, please. Like, Mat- match up against us and send us your picks in. We'll feature you guys on the show. It's, oh, yeah. Bagelblocks at gmail.com. I keep forgetting to do that because, you know, it's whatever. Because you're 720. But, yeah, that's it. Bagels and Locks. Bagels and locks?